In this video, I'll show you how to create email automations and drip campaigns using MailCoach. Let's get straight into it. We're going to build an onboarding email flow using MailCoach. In the drip section, you can see that we have automations and emails. These emails can be used in the automations. To save us some time, I've already created a few. Let's take a look at the content of the getting started with MailCoach mail. You can see there's nothing special going on here and that this mail contains a link to the documentation. Let's head back and create our first automation using these mails. I'm going to name this one Mail Coach Onboarding. On the settings screen, I can choose when this mail should be triggered. Let's trigger it when somebody subscribes to the demo email list. Let's save this and head over to Actions. Here I can define what should happen when the automation is triggered. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to send the welcome mail. Like that. But immediately sending an email after subscribe can be a bit harsh. It might feel a little bit more human if the mail is sent a little bit later. Let's wait for an hour to send this mail. So I'm going to add a pause here and I'm going to wait for an hour. Let's then wait a day more, so one day, and then send a mail with onboarding instructions. Getting started with MailCoach. And we also have a third mail with extra instructions. But let's only send these extra instructions when the subscriber clicked the documentation link in the previous mail. To accomplish that, let's add an if else action. Let it check for a month. And what are we going to check? We're going to check if the subscriber clicked the automation mail, which automation mail the getting started one, and which link the documentation one. If that happens, we're going to send the mail. Send the mail, which one? The extra mail coach tips. And for giggles, let's also add a tag. Let's name it Got Extra Tips. Let's now save all of these actions. Now that all actions are defined, we can start this automation on the run screen. Here we can choose how frequently MailCoach should go through all the actions of this automation. Let's leave it at one minute and start the automation. And with that, we've created an automation in just a couple of minutes. Now, to demo that it's actually working, I'm going to change the automation a bit. We don't want to have any waiting times, so I'm going to remove these first three actions. And the third one, and it's gone. Let's save. Okay, let's now subscribe to the demo list. And I've created a little subscription form that we can use for this. Subscribe. I'm going to subscribe freek plus automation at spasi.be. Let's subscribe. And in a few minutes, I should receive the mail. It could take a mail coach a little while to send the mail as the automation is only triggered every minute. I'm not going to let you wait on it and we'll cut out a part of the video. And here is the first mail. Let's click the link in the email. And after a while, we should get our second email with extra tips. Again, I'm going to cut out some waiting time in the video. And there we have the mail with the extra tips. Let's head back to MailCoach. And if I refresh, then you can see that all steps are completed for one subscriber. Let's see if our subscriber got this extra tag. Let's go to lists, demo lists subscribers, and sure enough, I got that extra tag. I hope you feel the power that automation can bring. We only covered one scenario here, but the possibilities are endless. We have more building blocks to create automations, and you can even programmatically create automations. If you want to learn more, take a look at our extensive documentation. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Take care, and until the next time.